Hello friends, I'm Pam and this is Made by Pam and welcome back. So, I decided while I had a little bit of time, I would show you my thrift store finds I did last week. But first, let me go ahead and show you this shirt that I'm wearing. This is a shirt that I made. And it is a Simplicity 9718. And I did that view up there. And here is the back drawings. And I'm really loving it. It's from 1971. But, and the fabric is from a thrifted find that I got for a dollar. And so I had just barely enough to do this. Cut on the bottom, I have a nice little like seam. Because I had to improvise because it wasn't quite long enough for the pattern. So, but yeah, that's what I'm wearing. So, let me show you what I got. So, I did go to Walmart last week, of course. I had to get, I had to get, what did I have to get? Well, my daughter wanted some paint because she was painting our front window. And I needed to get some antifreeze. And so, and then also while we were there, we got bird seed for her birds. And then we went by the fabric section and then the clearance little bins that they had by the fabric section. And I had to look through the bins. And as one of my last videos, I showed some green buttons that I got and some diamond buttons that I got. But I didn't show you my other finds. And these are what I picked up on the 3rd of July. So I found this cool little spool. And I have little boys. They're not way into baseball. Neither is anyone in my family. But I thought that would be something cool. Maybe make my 2 year old. Because he'll wear whatever I put on him. So I'm thinking I'm going to make him a pair of little pants. And I'm going to put this along the side seam. So along the side seam on the pants, I'm just going to put this little ribbon and I th this little trim. And I think it's going to look really nice. And I paid 50 cents for this. So. And then I thought this was really cool. They're like little bulb safety pins. Sometimes you just need that. And if you're a crocheter or a knitter, those would come really in handy for marking things. But I paid 50 cents a package for this, and I got two packages. So I figured that's not such a bad deal. Well, and I did get some barrettes, but they're like the Wonder Clips. But these are like the metal barrettes. And I figure I haven't tried it out, but I figured they should work just as well. So I figure I'm going to try that out and see how that works. And then, and these were just regular price. There were three ninety four at Walmart. So next, I found some really cute duct tape. Who doesn't love a great deal on duct tape? And it's quite a big roll. It's like ten yards. And I paid seventy five cents for this roll of duct tape. How can you not take advantage of that? Well, the next is probably one of my most favorite finds. Is this roll? It's got two rolls in there of the Easy Seam 2. And I paid a dollar for these, this package. I thought, how much better is it going to get than that? So, those are what I got at Walmart. So, let me go ahead and show you some of my thrifted finds that I got. I went to a couple different thrift stores this last week just because I could. So, I went to my saver, and they have, you know, they have a certain tag on sale each week, well, at least in Utah. And so, I picked up some patterns because, basically, they have the patterns marked for $1.99 for a set of two. And it was 50% off, so I got two patterns for a dollar, so that's 50 cents each. So, I thought that was a pretty good deal. They didn't have a really wide selection of the patterns, but I did find six patterns that I could do something with. So this first one is a Simplicity 9936. 
And it's just a kid's pattern. But see, I have little kids. And then, got some back line drawings. Thought that would be really neat. So, if I ever get around to making that, that would be great. Let me look at what size. So, size small is size 7. So, it goes from small to 12, 14. So, 7 to 12, 14. And so, I have a little boy that's 7. I have a little boy that's 9, will be 10 soon. So, two of those sizes will work out great. Now, with that package came this McCall's pattern, which is sixty-one sixty-nine, And I thought that would be pretty neat. It's just kind of like a little over, um, like a little vest type thing. But I thought that would be pretty cool. You can give that a try, maybe. So next set of patterns I found is a Simplicity 6030. And, you know, I don't know if those are really still in style, but, you know, I could do something with that. And it's in 1983. And there's the back drawings right there. And it's a size 12 miss. So, I'm thinking that should fit me just fine. Because I'm ranging, you know, in the pattern sizes in a 12-14 range. So, I think we're doing good there. And then the next one is also a size 12. Um, and it is in McCall's 5634. And it's for a Mrs. Online Blazer and Vest. And here is the back drawings. And that was my second set of patterns. And then the third set of patterns that I got this time was a Simplicity 6077. And it's a Mrs. Double Breasted Dress. And it's adjustable for petite. And it is a 1983. And here is the back drawings. And then I have a Simplicity 9889. And it's just like a man and woman's robe set. His and hers. Yeah, it says Mrs. Men's or Teen's Kimono Robe in Two Lengths. So, I guess so it has a like little thing and then it has like a little sleeve seam right there so if you wanted to do one and not put the sleeves on i'm sure you could well either way but yeah thought that wasn't too bad oh and this one is a 1995 so those are my patterns that i picked up so, let me show you what I got from, these are some fabrics that I picked up from various stores. And I saw this one. Now, I wasn't going to get it. I kept kind of going back and forth. I'm like, do I get it or do I not? But, I was like, um, I'm going to get it. There are six yards of fabric here and I got it for five bucks. And it's kind of like a stretchy knit type of fabric it's really cool and i thought i could make something really neat with that you know so i just and my daughter really liked it and it has like a green like edged trim on there so that's one of the ones that i got and then Okay, so I got this fleece throw, and it was only a dollar. Um, and basically, I don't really like using these as throws, okay? What I got it for, instead of using that cotton, that batting back there, see that roll of batting, I got that 
big chunk for two dollars well instead of using the batting for like a lining and like lighter weight blankets and quilts and stuff because i am doing currently doing like a quilt as you go blanket out of this fabric and some cut up denim that um my sister had a bunch of levi's that she was just going to get rid of and i volunteered to make her a levi quilt and so i've been kind of going along and doing that so i've sewn these together and then my next set is going to be like seen together i have some other pieces back here see kind of seam these together but then there was no way to really connect this to the other pieces without having a sashing between and i thought yes i can put a sashing between but then how am i going to connect the next the p next piece to the sashing so i was thinking well i will just sew the pieces together and this one's just going to be all that because I'm going to kind of do it like a coordinating, like kind of back and forth. But, so yeah, I do quilts and I do clothing and I do bags and, you know, just lots of different things. Just my interest varies. And I make dollies too, that's fun. But yeah, I'm just going to kind of do a quilt as you go. And so... Just trying to do that for my sister but what i did with for that lining inside that i took one of the fleece stoles kind of like this and i just cut it up into little squares that match this but then i was like huh how am i gonna put it yeah i sewed it on this but how am i gonna put it between the sashings but what i want to do is i kind of want to like combine those with this cute little alphabet print and then i have this blue print here which would look really cool with the denim and possibly that but how am i gonna get the those pieces to really go with this so i'm like oh well i found this and so i'm like oh, i'll just cut it up into the other strips and it'll be long enough and then it can be between there so that's why i picked that up and then I found some really cool fabrics. I have this neat fabric here. Isn't that just beautiful? Okay, so there's five yards here. And I spent $4 for all five yards. And I saw this and I grabbed it. I just picked it up and I took it home. I could not leave it behind. So this other fabric that I got this one wasn't in the fabric part but because pieces have been sewn together. But you can see the pieces sewn together and it still has the selvages. And then they sewed two strips of selvages together. But it equals four yards total. And this was only $2. So I'm like, and my daughter was like, Mom, that is beautiful fabric. I'm like, I know. So we picked that up. And then I did get a, like a panel fabric. It's like a um, Christmassy, but I'm just, it's for like placemats and stuff. I figured that might be a good thing for a Christmas present for someone in the family that I can make up. Then I did find this fabric here. And this cost me $2. And it wasn't on sale. It was one of those things that I'm, well... I'm not going to make it back for a while, so I'll just pick it up now. Because I really liked it. I don't know about it, but I just really liked it. It's just kind of got a nice texture to it, too. Well, that's one that I picked up. And here's another fabric I picked up here. And this was $4. And I never did mark down how many yards this is. I should have. I think it was quite a bit though. Let me see. One, two. Well, there's three yards here for four bucks. 
I think that's not bad. This is kind of like a vintage fabric, I guess, like an older fabric. But I really love the colors. And then I also found this blue fabric that was $2. And I was like, oh, that is going to complement each other so nice. I don't know if I'll put it together, but I might. So, and this one, I got this. This has, and of course, I didn't write down how many yards. I know there's at least two yards here. Yeah, there's two yards here. So, that's not bad for two bucks. So, a dollar a yard. And then there's one more fabric I got. This is fabric and this was 50% off and I spent it was two dollars and so I spent a dollar on this and I don't know what it was but it was really an excellent find if I say so myself and it granted there's only a yard here but I really liked it and for a dollar I figure it would be okay and then I also used the edge of it to test out a sewing machine and a searcher that I found at the thrift shop. Oh, and then I found a bag of like felt squares for a dollar because it was $1.99 as 50% off. So a bag of felt squares. So a dollar. Figured that was a pretty good deal. And then, that is also a pretty good deal. I found this big bag of like rolled up remnants for $2. And so it's just got various pieces in here. Well, this one I really like. And there's actually two, like, two small rolls of that. Just different fabrics I just thought would be really neat. Like, this one would be really cool to use something for my daughter. Combine it with something else. And it's got some apples on it. Got some cute fabrics here. This one's really cute too. Oh yes, and this one I really like too. Just a cute little bunny rabbits. And I figure I can use these little pieces, you know, even if it's just for like little quilt blocks, that'll work. So, I figured that was, was a pretty decent deal. So, I could find something good to use that with. Okay. So, now into the machines that I found. Now, generally, I know I really shouldn't be getting any more machines. But, I just, it was just calling me. I guess that's what I get for going back to the electronics section at the store. So, it is dirty. I do need to clean it up. But it works. And it doesn't look like it's been used that much. It looks like somebody got it. Look, there's still the original packing tape on it. Looks like somebody got it. And then it they put it in their garage and it just sat. It's got some dirt on it and stuff. But it's actually in pretty good condition. And I've tested it out. Now it didn't come with the power cord and it didn't come with the pedal. But I did have a pedal, a separate pedal that came that I had gotten for one of my other machines. One of my Singer electron computer machines. And this one's actually a lot newer and nicer than the Singer that I have. So I had this pedal and it just plugs right into the back. And then I found this cord, and it was three bucks. But I found this cord that had the right attachment on the end. And I, I plugged it in, and I tested it, and it worked. So I was like, well, I'm going to get this. And it was only $25. And, you know, I figured I can give it a try. I can clean it up, make it look nice. And give it a try and see. Because, you know, really, 
it's got this B control. It's got the, it pushes the needle down in. It does a reverse stitch and it has the go button. And so you don't even have to have a pedal to use it because I tested it and it worked really nice. So I'm kind of excited about that. And then it also has the switch on the back here to put the feed dogs up and down. So I thought that was pretty nice. Now, Mom, I don't move all this stuff. you want me to move all this stuff? My daughter said, Mom, will you move all this stuff? Because I had it sitting on the chair next to us. Well, on the chair next to me. And she comes in and wants to sit down. That is a serger. So, I'm going to show you my serger. It's a serger. So, the serger I picked up, it does need to be serviced, well, cleaned up, and oiled, and, you know, fixed a little bit but I tried it out and it does work and it does do a stitch it's just one of the needles is broken but I figured heck it comes with a case it's an old older one and this one is a singer ultra lock 14 which I thought was a pretty decent deal now it has this little yeah. case and it comes with like the instruction booklets yeah. and everything yeah. in it. And it did come with a set of extra needles. Come on guys, I'm talking here. So it just kind of does these little things here and just different tips and tricks and the operator's guide manual. So if I have any questions, I can yeah. look at that. Now, I do have the Husqvar Viking um, S25 that has a touchscreen. But right now, it's in the shop because my touchscreen stopped working, no. responding. No. So I had to send it in to get fixed. And I've only had it since March. Go figure. No. So I was a little no. perturbed about that. But no. I saw this. I figured, well, while it's in the shop, this will give me something to do. Besides all the other stuff I have to do upstairs and with the kids. But I figured this one would be kind of neat. It's a cool little gadget. And it came with the threads. And then what is really neat is it has the... gives you the free arm motion. So that you got the plate there and then you lower it down to do sleeves and... Things. And my my Viking, it does not have that um, feature. Now, I used to have a FAF, but I thought my engine, my uh, motor on it blew up. But I think maybe it was just... Ooh, it just came undone. I think it was just my um, pedal that gave out because... I gave a pedal to somebody, and then they said, oh, it doesn't work. I'm like, great. So much for that. So, I figure, I saw this, and it was at a pretty, pretty decent deal. And I thought, well, I'll get it. I'll fix it up. I'll clean it up. And we'll go from there and see how good it works. So I just add to my stash, add to my collection. What can I say? But, you know, when you find a good deal, you get it, right? Right. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to sign off, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. And talk to you later. Bye.